Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Nadia Holtz. It's Wednesday, September 24th, and today we'll be covering the NFL key injuries to affect week four NFL picks and odds. To examine these injuries with us today is professional handicapper Matt Jordan. Matt, three more quarterbacks went down with injuries in week three, meaning there are likely to be three new starters at the NFL's most important position this week. Talk to me about these teams and players. Yeah, uh, Matt Castle for the Vikings, um, he broke a bunch of bones in his foot. Um, he's now out for the season. Um, that happened today. He was put on injured reserve. So uh, rookie first round pick Teddy Bridgewater will start for the Vikings. Um, they're at home to the Falcons. And um, I don't think it's a coincidence that Atlanta, Atlanta's a 2.5 point favorite right now. And they're taking the biggest lean of any team on the board right now. Mm -hmm. I guess better don't have a lot of faith in Bridgewater. He, he looked decent last week in the loss to New Orleans. But um, the Vikings also lost their really good tight end, Cal Rudolph. So, and of course, they don't have Adrian Peterson. Right. So, yeah, I'm sure that's why people are, are jumping all over Atlanta. Um, for the Titans, Jake Locker, we still don't know if he's going to play or not. Um, he hurt his wrist. It's nothing serious, apparently. But, um, frankly, I think Coach Ken Wisenhunt wants a reason to bench him. He's been pretty terrible. Um, unfortunately, his backup is Charlie Whitehurst, which I'm pretty sure I'm better than he is. So, um, the Titans are they're taking the second fewest. Lean. They're just, uh, Indianapolis is minus 7.5, and they're taking a massive, massive lean. So I expect that line to grow. Mm -hmm. And um, Josh McCown of the Buccaneers also is hoping to play this week, but he's not going to start no matter what. Okay. Um, he, hurt his, he hurt his thumb. Mike Glennon will start. He was actually pretty good as a rookie last year, um, but the Bucks look lost as it is, and they're seven point underdogs at Pittsburgh, and the Steelers are taking almost three three quarters of the action so far. So I expect that line to grow as well. Okay, um, the Philadelphia Eagles were incredibly fortunate last season when all five starting offensive linemen were able to start every game. That's pretty rare. How do you see this team doing without center Jason Kelsey, without Pro Bowl left guard Evan Mathis, and right tackle Lane Johnson? Can you um, walk me through that? Yeah, um, they're going to get Johnson back, not this week, but next. The other two guys are out for a while. Um, the Eagles have been, you know, they've been incredibly lucky this year, if you ask me. They've rallied from at least 10 points down in every game to win. Um, no team's ever done that in um, the first three games of a season. Mm -hmm. And they're playing a really, really desperate 49ers team in San Francisco. It's never easy to play, you know, go across the country and, and win as it is. But mm -hmm. the Niners just, you know, they can't start one and three. And while their defense is a little bit, um, you know, hurting because of uh, injury and suspension, it's still, it's still quite a good defense. So I think they're going to have their way with the Eagles offensive line. Uh, San Francisco opened at like minus four and a half. It's already to five and a half. I think that's going to keep growing as well, although I think it'll stand under a touchdown. Okay. I, I like the Niners to win in that game for sure. Okay, okay. And can you walk me through the Ravens without Dennis Pitta and the Chargers without uh, De uh, Danny Woodhead? Yeah, Pitta's, um, you know, he's a good player, but he's just, he's really brittle. Um, I'm sure the Ravens are regretting giving him a $32.5 million extension uh, in the winter because right. um, his career looks over. He was, he just caught a pass uh, in week three, and he just fell down. He was, he wasn't even hit. But um, you just look, hit your hip once. It's a really, it's a, you know, it's a big injury. If you just hit it twice, you have a pretty serious problem. Um, the good news is they have a pretty good backup in Owen Daniels, formerly of Houston. So mm -hmm. I actually don't think Baltimore will be hurt too much in that one. Um, Danny Woodhead, he was, um, he's a pretty good like third down back, kind of like Darren Sproles of the Eagles. He's done for the season, and the Chargers are already without number one running back Ryan Matthews for at least the next two weeks. I don't think it'll matter this week because they're playing Jacksonville, you, you know, which looks like the worst team in football, and San Diego's uh, the biggest favorite on the board. But going forward, keep an eye on that because, um, you know, Philip Rivers, they're not going to win just with Philip Rivers throwing all day. Okay, and last but not least, um, no unit was hit harder than the Pittsburgh Steelers losing Ike Taylor, Ryan Chazier, and Jarvin Jones. What does this mean for the Steelers? Yeah, those are three, you know, at least Shazier was an early rookie, the defensive rookie of the year favorite. Ike Taylor was their best cover guy. Uh, Jarvis Jones has been kind of a bust. He was a first-round pick last year, but still, that's three starters. Mm -hmm. um, the team was so desperate, it, took, it got James Harrison, the former um, Steelers, great out of retirement, and they're going to play him this week. You know, I think it's fortunate that they're playing the Buccaneers this week, mm -hmm. but now that that line's over a touchdown, I, I don't like the Steelers as much. Like, I still think they'll win, but the Bucks, you know, with Glennon, I think is an upgrade over McCown. Um, you know, I think the Bucks will cover, but you know, certainly going forward, the Steelers, you know, it might be looking more over points now because you know they're clearly their defense is weaker than it was. Right, Matt. Thanks so much for your feedback. We really appreciate it. All right, you're welcome. All right, for SBR Picks, this is Nadia Holtz. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. 
big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.